So anyway, you know, it kind of it was a it was a process of awakening my soul to how asleep and anaesthetized I'd been um, mm -hmm. through drugs and alcohol, um, and a lot of my my story and experience was doing, to do with the pain and suffering that um, I felt mm -hmm. when I was very small. And it wasn't until I got here, and this is part of my testimony, that um, I was still torn in mm -hmm. my heart. Um, and everybody was going to mass one, one evening. I think it was on the, uh, the seventh day or uh, I was here. And I decided to walk up. I decided to listen to this voice that in the morning, about five o'clock in the morning said, climb up Cross Mountain. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'd always ignore that voice, I decided mm -hmm. to ignore it. And now everybody was off to mass. And, I, and in a the day, there's <coughs> thousands of people, if, if not more, walking up that mountain. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so I decided, don't ask me why, mm -hmm. just to follow that voice. And I went up that mountain and I walked up and I, I just, with my heart, I just, you know, I, I cried out to God and I told him my story and I, and I got him, got my heart, every, everything that was there. Um, my anger and my rage. And, uh, Why, what happened in the US? What, what, what was uh, in the well, States? when I was like eight, my mum, uh, who was looking after me, she uh, um, she um, got very mentally unwell uh -huh. and uh, she was uh, very sick. And uh, she went into, um, she she got sectioned under the Mental Health Act. and. Uh, And, uh, and I was uh, there um, with her, living with her. So one minute I was in school, the next minute she was gone. And there was a lot of suffering going on around there. Anyway, I, I, um, she was in a uh, mental health mm -hmm. uh, ward and I went to visit her. And um, she uh, subsequently jumped out the window, saw a story and <laughs> broke her neck and became paraplegic for the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. Um, as a child and as a, an eight-year-old, I thought it was all my fault. I thought I thought everything was my fault. That I didn't realise the sufferings that my parents and my my mum was carrying in her heart, you know. And um, and that 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 was that I locked, I closed down emotionally, I, I, you know. And I don't blame that from happening. It's just that I needed to. I needed. I needed something. I I just needed God to tell me it was gonna. It was okay, you know. It wasn't wasn't my fault, you know. And I was loved despite that. Um, from homily yesterday, mm -hmm. Father Leon spoke about you're here because God loves you. And it was, uh, you know, in my I came to know later in my life that my. I died twice in an incubator when I was born, and uh, um, for whatever reason, God has a purpose for and a plan for our lives, and and and, I, and so He brought me back to life, even though I was a few months old. And it's a little bit like that with my mum. There was a purpose behind that suffering, and it's a cross that I have to uh, carry and bear. But it's also given me um, a lot of grace around forgiveness and compassion for other people's suffering uh, and suffering which uh, I believe Jesus wants us to uh, to uh, to love others and, and, and love ourselves if, if that makes any sense so so I'm, I'm so this all brought me here this brought me to this amazing place I'd never heard of before mm -hmm. and uh, you know and, and through this 10 days experience I had this uh, an awakening of my spirit um, to going up to Cross Mountain, this is where I was going with this, and walked up the Cross Mountain. And uh, I was telling God all about this, my father being an alcoholic, and the abuse that happened in my family, and my, you, know, the, my, you know, all the pain that I was carrying. And um, three quarters of the way up, this same piece that went up Apparition Hill just descended on me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had Father Slavko's book, Pray From The Heart. And uh, I have a very uh, special connection with Father Slavko, being a recovered, recovered addict and someone who he helped a lot of people overcome this infliction of, of addiction um, to uh, opening his book at the top of Cross Mountain. 
and I don't know what page it was on, but it was like the Heavenly Father just joined me up the top of the mountain. Maybe it was Our Lady, maybe it was Our Mother. I'm not sure, but I, I opened the page of the book and it was, I believe. And I, and I just fell to my knees and, and uh, I don't know what happened. That's it, it's my, my intellectual understanding of memory and this happened five years ago, so I'm talking an experience that happened before. And I came down that hill at night in the middle of Bosnia Herzegovina, in the middle of the night, and my prayer group, they turned to the prayer group and they said, what's just happened to you? You're, you're a different man, something's happened to you. I don't know, understand and explain it, but I think it's because I said yes, and I'd surrendered. And that's what God really only wants for us, isn't it? Is he wants our surrender. So I've been coming back since, and um, the first experience I had here was, yes, God exists. The second experience I had was also that evil exists. And um, who do I choose? What do I choose? So today in our group, we've got people um, that are coming over for the first time, like I did. And, and I feel a calling to, to bring people here. Um, because where I live, um, there's so many divisions in faith and there's so many divisions in, in, in ideas and ideology that um, the simplicity of this faith here and the love that people have shared here is second to none. I've never seen any, anything like it in my life. And that's why I keep coming, because I know the truth will set us free and, and our Lord Jesus is here with us um, and he wants us to, to return to him. Um, I don't know what I'm going on about, it's but I, I pray the I, you know the rosary mm -hmm. is the sword of, of a weapon against Satan, and um, and I you know I keep praying this um, today in mass. It was just like I had a darkness in my heart this morning, but I know that through the five stones and and through uh, the priestly hands and of reconciliation and, and living the uh, sacrament sacramental life that we can come back to life and, and and that can be for any anyone any child any any person in this world can come back at any time despite what's happened whatever sin whatever darkness there is love and there's light he is the truth he is the light and the way and I and I praise God for that so um, today it occurred